boat friends this is a special video it's the prt largest ship on the great lakes but there's a couple things going on that's going to make this really interesting we have the guests that won the raffle to take the trip on the prt on board but separately one of our boat friends travis he contacted me and his wife was an invited guest by one of the officers and he's been sending me uh, plenty of information via email and uh, a photo that I'm going to share as well. But before we get to all of that, let me set the conditions. You can see the aerial lift bridge on its way up to 135 feet. Take a look at the flags over on the Corps of Engineers building. Let me move over a little more if you can see them. 11 mile per hour out of the northeast wind, 60 degrees. And the PRT is coming inbound on its way to CN Dock. Well, as I go to get set up in a different spot, take a look at the aerial lift bridge going up. You can see the Duluth hillside in the background. Overcast sky, you can see. The red communication towers. I'm really all out here by myself. Take a look at those clouds. And the fog that's kind of hanging down, really making this into a picturesque video for the PRT. 11 o'clock Central Time. Well, boat friends, before I get into the fun information, let me get you caught up here on marine traffic. As you can see, we have the Polar Togurtha on its way inbound. 8.6 knots. It's going to go through the area lift bridge right here, go through the Duluth Harbor Basin, under the Blotnik Bridge, over to CN load iron ore pellets. But again, we have some special guests that are on board. They've been able to go on the PRT for a week now. Can you just imagine how fun that would be? And Travis, the boat friend, has been really staying in touch with me, telling me what's going on with his wife. Well, before I show you the picture that Travis's wife took on board of the vessel on this once in a lifetime, essentially cruise on the PRT. Here's some information that Travis passed along to me. Quote, she is currently having the time of her life as she literally is on it right now. Between the sunrises and sunsets, there's a lot to learn about the day-to-days of being on an operational ore ship. They went through the Sulaks last night, very wild looking at night from the ship's perspective. Who else can say that they were napping while in the middle of Lake Superior on a bench on the deck of an ore ship, the Queen of the Great Lakes nonetheless, only to be roused by the sounds of doors slamming as he began to muster for a fire drill on deck. I asked Travis how his wife Amy got on board, and he said, quote, Officers can have guests. The cook is an officer and a family friend. He, of course, had to get the captain's permission, and she had a room on the third floor in a regular crew-style room. She did get to hang out a little bit on the fourth floor with the raffle winner guests that get to stay on the fourth floor in the staterooms. And here's a photo that Travis passed along from Amy, the engine room in the PRT. Can you imagine that awesome trip that she's on? And she's going to be coming through right now with the other guests of the PRT. Well, let me pass along some information so we can get a good glimpse of the vessel that Amy is on right now and those guests that won that raffle. Polar Tegurtha, Queen of the Great Lakes, 1,013 feet in length, built in 1981. Owned by the Interlake Steamship Company, built at American Shipbuilding Company out of Ohio. Carrying capacity, a huge 68,000 tons. That's a bow thruster, 1,500 horsepower. Number of hatches, 36. Cargo holds five. Two controllable pitch propellers, two rudders. Two diesel engines pushing out approximately 16,000 horsepower. Well, and here's that beautiful ship coming through right now. You can see the bow. You can see the superstructure has those two very bright white lights on both sides. There is a little bit of light fog in the air. Overcast, very damp feeling, high humidity. If you're standing here with me right now, you can see it rained a little earlier. It had to be such an incredible time for Amy to be on board and those guests. And I want to thank Travis for sharing his story. And Amy, you got a great husband. I mean, he even said that he is just going to let you soak this in. He didn't want to bother you too much while you've been on this trip. 
So he's a great guy and uh, he's a great boat friend for sharing this story with all of us. Again, for people that have never seen the PRT, this is the largest ship on the Great Lakes. Dual anchors there on the bow. Could I say it even looks more beautiful at night? There's just something about the sky with those clouds. Got a member of the crew that's on the bow there. I can hear crew members that are on deck working on the hatch covers. And what's interesting, we talked about those guests that won the raffle. They're actually in those rooms right there with the, the five windows. That's the guest quarters. Take a look at this vessel. As impressive as a ship could ever be. Take a look at that superstructure, massive. Look at that steam coming out of the stack. Look at that steam making it all the way up to the lift bridge operators house right there on the top. Doors open. You can actually feel the power from this huge vessel. Love catching that steam in this sky right now. What an incredible ship. Look at the Duluth hillside in the background with the lights. Really making for a fun video here. There's a full look at the vessel. 1,013 feet. On the way in to load iron ore pellets and also drop off those guests that won the raffle and also Amy, who was a guest of uh, one of the officers. Well, there you go, boat friends. How can you beat that? PRT at night, brilliant sky to really show it with the lights. And you know I appreciate you watching these videos. I'll be out here with the next vessel. If you're interested in additional videos, here's a few to choose from.